Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today I'm bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Boom Beach series. Alright, so already I'm upgrading my landing craft up to level 9, and I've been doing a lot of upgrades around my base, so if I upgrade just a few more things, I think we'll be able to upgrade our HQ to the next level in the next episode. And a lot of people were telling me that I unlock tanks, and they're super powerful, so I want to make sure I get those as soon as possible. Taking a look at the armory, we can upgrade my heavies, they're pretty expensive, I'm sitting at 282,000 gold right now, so if we can get some good battles, um, we should be able to get that, and I want to make sure I max out my armory before I upgrade my HQ. Alright, so looking at what we want to attack, we still have Terror Stage 3 here, so let's go ahead and take care of this, and uh, there's really not that gold for that much gold when you do these Terror maps, there's more like iron and stone, so I'm probably just going to do one, but let's see if we can take it out. Okay, going to go ahead and drop a barrage up top as well as some artillery to, to pick off that boom cannon. And then right here, I'm just going to drop my giants and my, uh, I'm going to drop my heavies. Wow, giants and heavies, they're sort of the same thing. Um, I'm going to drop my heavies and my zookas. And these guys will be able to take care of some of these buildings over here. So I'm just trying to build up a little bit of energy so I can take care of that cannon with actually without actually having to run into it. And let's go ahead and take that out. All right, so now that that's taken care of, only things left is this uh, HQ right here. And once this goes down, we can go ahead and collect our rewards. So again, I'm mainly looking for gold today since I've already upgraded my, I'm already upgrading my landing craft. It is nice to get stone and iron, but if I get it now, it might be stolen before I can upgrade something else. So I'm not going to get too much of it past uh, stage three, I guess. And let's go ahead and attack some of these other bases. Okay, so this guy has 47,000 gold available, definitely more than that tear map, and let's see if we can take care of him. And once again, my main focus is the cannons. So I went ahead and took care of the one on the right. That one's going to help out a lot. I'm also going to drop a barrage right there. That's going to take care of some of those buildings. And then after I drop that second barrage, unfortunately, it wasn't enough to actually take care of that second cannon. All right, so we're just going to have to go ahead and improvise a little bit. I'm going to drop my flare on top of that third cannon. And now that all the cannons have been taken care of, I'm definitely feeling a lot better about this uh, attack. So most of the defenses have gone down. We really only have the sniper towers in the back. And those guys are pretty effective against my heavies. So all I'm going to do, instead of running around and attacking each sniper tower, I'm just going to go straight for the HQ and end the battle as soon as possible. So it looks like that one was pretty successful. I'm actually surprised I didn't lose more heavies. Um, but I guess I dropped some good shock bombs on those sniper towers. Looking at what we got, we didn't lose any troops. And we got over 50,000 gold from that idol. I think I have an idol that gives me a little bit more resources when I attack a base. And that one turned out really well. Okay, so this one right here looks like it's going to be even better, and this guy has over 110,000 gold, plus I'm going to get an 11,000 gold bonus. So let's go ahead and take him out, and I think if we do this one, we should have enough to upgrade our heavies. Okay, so starting off, going to take care of one of those buildings in the back. I'm also going to go ahead and drop my barrage on this cannon right here. Sometimes when you drop it directly on the cannon, it actually takes it out, depending on what level the cannon is, and it looks like that one worked pretty well. So I drop my troops on the left hand side because there are the sniper towers over there and instead of dropping them on the right and having my sniper towers just continually shoot at my heavies, I went ahead and took them head on and uh, hopefully they would be able to destroy those before they inflicted too much damage. Okay, so still have a couple of heavies left. Those guys are moving around the base. Took care of most of the sniper towers. There's only one left on the right right here and uh, before all my troops get shot down, I'm actually going to move them over with a flare. And it looks like that actually worked out pretty well. So this is definitely a slower raid. This isn't one where I'm just rushing the HQ or else I'd have be destroyed really quickly. I'm just trying to move from defense to defense. And if this guy had a better upgraded base, it'd probably not be possible. All right, so I saved up a little bit of energy. I was actually able to take care of the cannon on the far right and the cannon on the very back right there. And uh, yeah, we only have two mortars left. I'm going to take care of those guys and we should be able to knock out that HQ. Alright, so second to last mortar has gone down. Only one more left, and there's always the problem of the mortar shooting over your heavies. I bet you guys have had that happen to you, where like your your heavies and your your zookas are like they're running towards a mortar, and uh, the, like the mortar shoots at the heavy, but instead of hitting the heavy, your zookas run right into it, and it wipes out like six of your zookas. I've had that happen to me so many times, and I actually thought it was going to happen right there, but in the end, looks like we didn't suffer too many casualties. And let's go ahead and check out what we got. All right, so you can see all of that gold rolling in, over 120,000 gold, 91,000 wood, um, as well as we only lost a couple troops. We lost three heavies and nine zookas, so yeah. And uh, I was actually going to end the video there, but when I ended this one, I actually went ahead and attacked Hammerman's HQ 25, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this one in there. If you guys want to attack this base, it's actually really easy. You can just use the normal uh, heavy and zooka army composition, and let's go ahead and take it out. 
So you can notice right there that the the mortar shoots like some crazy shot, um, and that's like the most powerful defense for this base. So you really have to watch out for that. Because look right there, it actually took care of two of my heavies from a single mortar shell. And usually the mortars are seen as like really weak against heavies, but obviously for this base, since it is like Hammerman's HQ, they made it super powerful. And I wanted to make sure that I like freezed it as soon as possible. All right, so I went ahead and dropped a flare on the mortar because I knew my troops probably couldn't take that much more punishment. Dropped a freeze or like a shock shock bomb as well. And after that went down, it's pretty much easy peasy. I dropped one more shock bomb. And after I take care of these machine guns, we are going to get the easy victory for this base. So again, I did this one after I finished raiding um, or after I've like really finished doing like the upgrade for the heavies. So you really don't see the resources I stole in this video, but still really nice raid. And it's not that bad of a base. I probably should have done this one a lot earlier. And now that I got this one done, we can attack HQ 30. And that one might be the next episode or the one after. So looking at what we got, we got a lot of stuff for attacking this guy. Um, I really haven't even like looked into the story mode of Boom Beach. I guess you're like fighting against like the Hammerman people and trying to like knock them out of the village or whatever but anyways we lost four heavies we lost four zookas but we got a lot of loot we got a lot of crystals and let's go ahead and head back to base all right 462,000 gold which is just enough to upgrade our heavies to uh the next level and i should have just enough to get my troops back as well because i am missing a couple of zookas and heavies from that last raid all right, guys, it looks like that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, once again, if you did, make sure to drop a like. And I'm thinking in the next video, we are going to be heading to HQ 11, and we should be getting our tanks, and those are going to be ridiculous. That's going to do it for this one, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.